Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here, TK RDS, with my Psalm 100 bucket list of the episode 6 review. They did delay, they did delay episode like what? A week or two? I don't know why they keep delaying stuff. But, anyways, we back with the reviews. Um, If you watched my last review, I told y'all I didn't remember what happened in this chapter of the manga series. So, I didn't even like go to my manga and read to see what happened. I wanted to be surprised. In this episode, so I can't. Say, so only thing I knew was they was going to get an RV. I don't remember all this other stuff that happened in the episode. So pretty much, uh, power is out in the area that uh, Akira and Kencho is at. So, uh, they pretty much gonna pack it up and go somewhere else. And uh, when the power went off, Akira was looking up at the sky, this nice, beautiful scenery, and he thought about home. So he wants to visit his home and see if his parents is still all right over there during this zombie apocalypse. So you're on the way to R V uh place and the who do we got here? We got Zizuka right beside them as they're about to enter the R V place. He trying to convince her. She declines a cure right there. Um but they kept on uh doing her thing, convinced her. They was like, Do you even know how I drive? She was like, No So they kinda of pressured her with that. They're saying more people it's going to be better. Uh, my dog is trying to come in and interrupt my video. He bets his butt down. Y'all probably hear him walking up towards me. But anyways. um, So she agreed to come with them. Then it's RV place. Which you will see as the thumbnail for this video. They the RV place. Tons of RVs. They see super expensive ones. Costing more than houses. Freaking buildings. Everything. And uh, as they're looking at these expensive ones and stuff. Jesuka is trying to pretty much analyze and decide which would be the best RV for long rides, which one is going to maintain a good amount of fuel. Like, you know, she's thinking very, she's an analyst. She's going to analyze her thing and try to uh, determine what's going to be their best possibility of surviving. Um, And they kind of, they was kind of talking to her like, I'm sure there's an RV here that you would like because she's like, guys, stop, like, stop. Uh, drooling. Stop drooling over these RVs. I was trying to think of a word. But, like, stop drooling over these expensive RVs. You need to get one that's going to be good for the trip. And, uh, she ends up seeing one that she actually liked. And they was like, uh-huh, we knew there's one here that you would like. But, um, they didn't actually get to pick out the RV they wanted because they was being loud. Zombies started coming into the RV place, so they got to dip. They took whatever RV they could, and that was close by, which is the one that we got here that y'all see if you watch the episode. And, um, so they're making their way, highway as clean as possible, cause, cause this this apocalypse happened so fast, no one was even able to try to leave the area. So while they're driving, they they uh, run over the spikes, like the thing that cops use to. Trying to stop a person they're pursuing. So yeah, the spikes busted their tires. Um, Kenjo, he's riding the motorcycle still. He likes to ride the motorcycle. So he will be riding the motorcycle throughout the series. Uh, he doesn't really ride the RV really much. But uh, yeah, so his tires get popped on the motorcycle. And the RV tires get popped. He falls off the bike, gets injured. Uh, these three buses pull up in front of them. And, or three RVs or trucks, whatever you want to call it. They pull up in front of them and block their, like, uh, block the road pretty much. And they're thinking, we got some trouble on our hands. Like, we're going to have to fight these people. Uh, it turns out to be one of Akira's bosses, not the one that we saw at the beginning of the episode. I mean, I don't think they showed them in the flashbacks. I mean, on the first episode when they were showing his work life. But it's one of his other bosses from his office. The slave office work job, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Akira, they gave us a little bit flash, but we can see Akira is not, uh, he's pretty much scared of the guy. The guy gets the guy traumatized him. The guy was a really aggressive, forceful type of guy. So uh, he pretty much offers Akira a deal. We'll tend to your friend needs. And uh, give y'all some new tires if you work for me for two days. Of course, 
he's not trying to get in the work two days. He's trying to get in the work way longer than that and just be a slave to his this apocalypse world doing labor work and stuff as labor work and whatever. If you watch the episode, you're gonna see you got people out in the sun carrying heavy ass boxes. You can tell that they're not having a good time and that they're kind of being forced to do this. Um in the episode you also see that He's using uh, zombies to like kind of carry huge, uh, huge cargoes on like these trucks. They like like pulling the trucks. So he made he, this guy has made use of the zombies in this world. Um, Yuzuka was pretty much tending to Kencho's wounds, and I guess I'm not sure was it, where exactly they was at in the area, but they they're not doing the work. Akira is one that's working for these two days supposedly, and uh. Yeah, the episode ended not on a so not on so happy note as the other episodes. We see Akira working. Um, he tried to do things to kind of lighten up the mood, the mood for people there, but that guy, that guy, he ain't playing it. He want them to suffer pretty much. But uh, yeah, that was RV of the Dead. Next episode is going to be titled uh, "Truck Stop of the Dead." Um, what's going to happen? Find out. Um, overall, episode was good. Um, like I said, I came into this episode not remembering what happened. Like I said, I stayed away from my manga book. I didn't look through it to see what's going to happen. I wanted to be surprised. Um, overall, good episode. Um, nothing, nothing that uh, stuck out to me in this episode. We did hear a little bit of a little nice soundtrack they play sometimes on some episodes, but nothing really stuck out that much on this episode. Um, I don't, well, I kind of have an idea. I'm not going to look at my manga to see what happened. I'm going to stay blind. I'll remember some pieces as I watch the episode, but pretty much know what's going to happen. Y'all probably could kind of know what's probably going to happen on this episode that's coming up. Episode 7 will be next week. Will be the week after next week. We don't got now know because episodes begin delayed to another week or to another day. I follow the Twitter page. That's how I be doing So. Y'all don't have to follow the Twitter page. I'll, I'll post it on Community P if the episode gets delayed. But that's how we find out if the episode gets delayed to another day or another week. Blah, 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 blah. Overall, episode was pretty good. Um, They just revealed the new cover to the Zone 100 uh, manga. Volume uh, 12, I believe. Or it's 13. Um, for those who might want to dig into the manga. But, uh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm actually not. I'm staying away from the mangas until the to the season is finished. Actually, I'm gonna start reading the manga once the season is finished. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Enjoying the enjoying the anime still. Um, but yeah, I might do another video. I think I might do another video talking about anime. Some anime. I mean, some manga. I think should be made into an anime. Cause there is some mangas I'm reading that I would like to see as an anime or think would make a good anime. But anyways, let me stop rambling on. I read the dead previous episode. Uh, y'all gotta watch and see what happens on the next episode. Um, so I'm thinking, I think the episode after this episode, we're gonna meet Beatrix. We might meet Beatrix next episode. I don't think we meet Beatrix next this episode. I think we're gonna meet her in the episode after. So episode eight, I think we're gonna meet Beatrix. If y'all know who Beatrix is, if y'all ever saw some of the artwork or the cover. I don't think, do they show her the intro? I don't know what they show her the, or the opening. But Beatrice is the blonde hair girl. She's a Russian girl. Uh, y'all could find out the rest when y'all watch it. But she's my favorite character, actually, in the Zone 100 world so far. But anyways, I'm TK. TK Radius, thanks for tuning in. Hit the thumbs up. Comment down if you want to. Check out my other videos. Check out some of my live streams. I'm thinking about doing a live stream. Uh... The 19th, I believe. Ether Nights, the video game come out. I think about streaming that. But anyways, till next time, thanks for tuning in. Adios. Peace.